the question of the day. Hello, June. Yes, this is the question of the day. Um, so let us do a garden assessment. All right, let's do a garden assessment. And this is it. Right now in your garden, are you experiencing frustration in the garden? That is the question. Are you experiencing any frustration in your garden? Are there things that are just not working in your garden? If so, put it in the chat. What is not working for you? What is frustrating you? Come on, just be honest. Put it out there. What is it that's giving you a headache? What is, what is it frustrating? I just shared mine. No roses. No eating climber rose this year. At least like how I'm used to seeing it. I would look forward to June. Oh, I would just be looking forward to June and the June roses. Darlene Brown, how are you? Hello, how are you, Darlene? But you know, I actually have some other roses that are um, blooming. You know what rose actually did well? Okra is taking too long, no roses. Oh, okra. Well, you know, um, yummy for me, um, I just seeded some uh, okras and they are actually doing very well. Um, the okra um, plant or uh, seedlings are coming up and soon what I'm gonna be able to do is plant them out. I am so excited about that. So that, that's working for me. But your okra is not working for you. Um, Yemi, where are you located? Are you in the south? What is your zone? Uh, everyone, if you want to put in your zone as well so that we can get a feel for where people are located here. And if you want to just share with us, what's, what um, state are you in? What I'm going to sit them higher. Hello. Hey, J Mama Gross. How are you? You're in zone six? Okay. All right, Yami. J Mama's with us. How are you? Darlene, hey guys. Yes, Darlene Brown is with us. Yay, good to see you all. So nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're. I think most of us are in zone six. Hey, zone seven A. Deborah's in the house. Hey, Deborah. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, you know, Yemi, this, this year, well, last year I actually started trying to grow or, or two years ago zone 6a okay uh to to grow gardens on me zone 6b yes a couple of my hydrangeas haven't grown uh any bigger yet but i transplanted them in containers now they're now they are looking a little better zone eight miss plantaholic gardens on me woo all right so we're between so i would say we're zones eight zone seven and zone six right now that are in the chat and so uh texas zone a b okay sonia's in zone a b you moved from nine to to eight. <laughs> oh, good for you and uh, so you're still very warm uh zone eight is still very warm so a lot of things that we are are uh are just now growing you probably are have already grown or are starting to grow there in zones eight eight and seven um, you probably can um, you know grow your tomatoes maybe you have your tomatoes your peppers out um, a lot of your summer veggies should be planted by now and for me yes in zone six 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 a and b I think we too can start to plant our tomatoes my tomatoes are out in the ground your peppers squash I just planted a lot of squash uh, from seed my seeds and um, I put them in the ground um, seeds are coming up it's so good oh my goodness see to see the squash uh, seeds coming up by the way one of my um, pumpkins you know that porcelain doll pumpkin I'm gonna put it on um, my channel probably as a um, in the community page 
um, I was saving that pumpkin and I said to myself, well, I think it's time for me to cut the pumpkin open and eat it before it starts to rot. Well, when I went to look, that pumpkin, I guess there must have been a couple of warm days there, the pumpkin started to rot and the seeds in the pumpkin were actually developing. It's amazing, I've never seen anything like this. And uh, they were even giving their first flowers, their first leaves um, in, in it, inside the pumpkin. Yes, I am going to put it in the community page or make a little video of it so you could see it. And so when I opened it, it was, actually happened this morning and I just, I was so amazed that I remembered to, um, to videotape it, you know, to, to record it on my phone. So I'm going to show you and um, I planted some pumpkin and can't remember which container I put them in. It's not the first time. I know. <laughs> One of the things, gee mama, as gardeners, and I find that most gardeners do this, even the most famous ones do it too. They start to see, they, they get into plant sowing and seeding. And what they do is they forget to label their plants. So then when they're looking at it and they don't see anything happen, they say, oh, I'm sure I would remember what I had put in that, um, that pot, what I had seeded. And next thing you know, it, um, you end up either digging it up again or waiting so long uh, that you just get frustrated and on just you just have to wait wait for the leaves to come up and hope that you can figure it out yep yes yes that has happened to me but um this year i tried to be a little bit more you're guilty of that too so oh i remember what i did i remember i remember and then he's oh my goodness what did i do where did i plant it what happened it doesn't work it doesn't work you you must label now if i did not label these four o'clocks i would have remember that it's four o'clock that i planted in here because i this leaf almost looks like um one of those brassica leaves right and that's what happened to me in the garden though a lot of times i'll just throw out the seeds and do direct sowing and then I'll see all of these seeds coming up, you know, all these little seedlings coming up. And I know that it's something that I planted there, but I don't remember because I, I forgot to mark it. And then I have a choice. Well, am I gonna dig up the seeds, dig it up, or am I gonna wait? And uh, now, thankfully, because the soil is warm, um, it is, uh, the soil is warm, uh, things are coming up and sprouting much more quicker. And so uh, it's not me digging it up and, and um, you know, disturbing the seed before it, it becomes a seedling. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah. So that's a frustration. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, experiencing frustration in the garden. Yeah, that's one of the things <laughs> that we do. That's frustrating. When you, you, you forget that you planted or seeded out something in the garden, especially if you direct seeded. The next thing you know, you find yourself digging it up. That is frustrating because then now you have to reseed it all over again um, um, because you didn't remember what you planted there. So here's another question for you. What options will energize you in the garden? Okay. You're experiencing these frustrations, but what do you need to do? What are you looking forward to doing in June that's going to give you some energy for your garden? You know, what, what are you looking forward to? What, what is next in your garden? I'll put it in the chat. What are you going to do next for June? And I pulled out my, my journal and started writing down some things that I want to do for the summer garden and rearrange it. And you, and you know, it's a good thing I did use the pictures of my garden with the roses to remind me of the roses. Cause this of course is the Eden climbing rose. And this is my knockout rose. And they suffered. I, I have no, in that front bed, 
none of the um, knockout roses um, are blooming. One of them looks like it's returning. The other two, mm -mm. I'm not seeing anything come up from the, from the uh, ground, from the roots. So I don't know. Uh, I think, uh, but they still look green and they look like they want to, um, to leaf out. Maybe I'm trying to be patient, but anyway, <laughs> I've got sidetracked by my roses. <laughs> Your roses are blooming. Finally. That's good. I, um, G mama, Ms. Ms. Plantaholic said, I planted some morning glory seeds in a container that I thought was not coming back. So here comes my red uh celosias oh no <laughs> that's good i like red celosias yeah and you know i actually what was thinking of buying some seeds to see if i can get them to grow that is really good good for you plantaholic and you know celosias is um from seed i think they look so pretty um, I was really thinking about getting some um, some seed and seeing if I, if I plant it now if it will come up yeah that's that's really good or if I see it I think like two or three years ago two years ago they had some and it was in a nice pot and I bought it not knowing what it was and I put it in the garden it was so pretty I wanted to save the seeds I think I should have been a little bit more diligent in saving the seeds because it created so many seeds and um, it, I was if I had got saved the seeds I probably would have been able to you know just scatter it out there and direct sow it um, in the garden but anyway so for the summer what are, what options will energize you in the garden well what is going to energize me for my garden this year is to rearrange my front garden i wrote that down rearrange my garden what areas do i want to change in the garden i am going to rearrange that front garden area there where i have the um, the iris the lilacs the uh, alliums that was my purple garden uh, usually at this time I have it you know I have my annuals down my marigolds and different other plants zinnias and so forth already set up and used that area as a cut flower garden but this year what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to to plant my okra yes yeah the okra 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 because I really want to see the okra grow and usually because I plant so close together, I really plant things close together, I don't think that I've ever given the okra a chance to grow. So I'm going to give it, I'm gonna clear it out, give it some really good uh, compost and uh, fertilizer and put the okra that I am growing from seed uh, there and uh, see them come up yes i'm excited about okra this season too you are yes yes let me see if i can let me show you my okra plant excuse me let me get it i'll be right back <laughs> it's right over here oops these are my little okra plants Yes, I took this um, six pack that my husband had used with pack with pansies and I planted the okra seeds in it and they are coming up nicely. Don't they look good? I had to baby these. Oh, oh my goodness. And I'm so glad that it's showing its first leaves and I'm hoping, um, you know, I just have to keep monitoring it, keep it watered keep it out of the sun and i've been babying this because i don't know if any of you experienced um the burn wait a moment let me put it right back where it was before yes 
I've been given. Now these are my zinnias. Look at that. So these zinnias, I'm gonna put them in there too. These are my zinnia starts. And I actually started these in May, you know, um, in these little packs. So I want them to grow up and, um, and I can be intentional. Ooh. Yes, I, I want to be intentional. I got quite a few things going here too. Hey, oh, oh hi, I plan to stay on top of weeds, rebuilding raised vegetable beds and relax as much as possible in my yard. I've been moving shrubs and perennials around and adding natural rock borders to my beds. Betty, you have been busy, busy Betty. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of work. You've been changing things around. You've really been rearranging your garden, Betty. That's so good. Yes, that's inspirational, Betty. I need to get busy. I need to get busy on our front bed. But my, my front bed was looking so good with the purple. I love these purple sensation alliums. I don't like, though, the fact that the purple sensation, that the leaves uh, got really brown and... Um, and I didn't have anything to cover them. Now, the places in which I um, was able to cover the leaves, I had other perennials growing up with it, looked really pretty, made the sensation alums look really pretty. But now it just looks like um, the tulips are brown. You know, the tulip leaves are dying back. The allium leaves, the alliums are now seeding like this. And that space is just is calling me for our or um a redo you know what i'm saying yes all of my zinnia seeds are growing well i have already planted some in my garden some have buds on them wow miss philanthropic well yes you're in a warmer you're in a warmer climate so yes you can get busy with it i'm growing the millennium millennium alliums really wow that's good that's good, G Mama grows. And yes, and so um, these, these beautiful flowers came from, from that front. But now I think it's time to change things around and to um, rearrange that, that front side border. Yeah, so, um, so I want to arrange the front by uh, cutting back the tulips and the alliums and amending the soil and planting the okra starts and the zinnias and other cut flowers. So um, I was looking at um, some of the seeds. I'm, I think I'm going to get some, um, order some seeds from um, Florette Farms. She was saying that she has some seeds on sale for cut, cut flower and i think i might do that what's that pretty pink fluffy flower this one here that's a peony this is a peony a peony bush and um this is one one i planted them a long time ago uh this is one style and this is the other Pe peonies don't are a shrub but they don't last very long you know they're like for um they come in for about a month um or less depending on the variety um, and it's a shrub so it is definitely a May flower you know something that blooms very well in May you know I don't vintage gardener isn't on with us but um, you like the fluffiness yeah it is beautiful and it smells good I don't know if you've ever had peony perfume the perfume with peonies yeah it has it has a nice fragrance. This is Sarah Bernhardt. I believe this is Sarah Bernhardt. I forget what the name of this one is here. But you know who's into peonies? Brooke. Brooke from Vintage Farm, um, Vintage Gardens, NG. Yes, she has peonies. And if you follow her Instagram, you will see her garden, her um, vintage garden, her protege that she calls it. Uh, she has a lot of peonies. And um, yeah, peonies is an old-fashioned old plant, 
um, and especially here in the Northeast, uh, it grows very well in our area. Um, and it's um, it's a one-time plant, but you can you can know that it's good for um, May. Like um, it starts from May into June. Right now, this period right before the roses, because the roses start at least for me in um, the beginning of June. That's when my roses usually bud. So in the meantime, the purple allium and the um, and the peony. These, these flowers um, give color and um, beauty and something, you know, they become the, the featured plants of the garden for May. So, but we're gonna have to say goodbye to May because May is over. That's why I decided to cut them and share them with you. So for the last day of May, May 31st, that we can enjoy uh, this floral arrangement. This is my first floral arrangement for those of you who just come on that you can see my new floral, my floral arrangement. These are the purple sensation alliums, the peonies, um, the variegated euronymus here, and it's just a really nice bouquet. I like this arrangement. You like my arrangement? <laughs> That's for you. Gee, Mama, I'm giving a close-up just for you. Thank you for mentioning it. Thank you. Thank you, Plantaholic. Yeah. Nice, okay. Thank you. And yeah, so um, for those of you who were with me last year, and you remember how I kept making those bouquets for us? I just kept on arranging new floral bouquets. Well, um, now's the time to put in some seed uh, throughout your garden of flowers that you would like to cut and create a, a little floral uh, cut garden. And you don't have to just uh, make it a cut garden per se, but put it in your borders, like put a, um, you know, a, a couple of um, seeds, some zinnias that you don't mind cutting, but because you've planted enough of the plants there, if you cut a couple of them, it won't matter. Plus they're cut and come again plants. They will come back again, they'll actually bloom more. The other one that's a good cut and come again plant are cosmos. Cosmos are really good for that. And I have a whole lot of Cosmos here too that I'm gonna add over there in that bed. And Marigolds. Marigolds are also really good for cutting. And it's also, Marigolds are also very good for the garden, for the vegetable garden to keep the bugs away. Mm -hmm. So uh, plant your Marigold seeds, your Zinnia seeds, your uh cosmos really i just plant some cosmos yes yep well let me show you my cosmos <laughs> yeah i planted my cosmos yes and um get the cosmos from the dollar tree yeah and i put them in this and so i'm going to transplant them from here and put them in that garden as well. And I did, this year I found that, this year I found that they didn't give me, they didn't give me as many seeds as they usually do. In my, um, my $4, you know, my 25 cent pack seeds. In the past, of course, everybody's coming back, so that is to be expected. But, um, so I don't have as many plants um, there because uh, before in the past I would uh, they would give you a whole lot of seeds. Uh, can they be pinched like mint, or should I wait for them to flower? Yeah, wait until they uh, till they flower. Don't pinch them yet. Let them grow up. Let actually wait for the flower. Um, just put them in in the garden because they will grow tall. They will grow um, about two feet, three feet. Um, and taller and then you can you can um, w wait till it flowers and then start you know cutting because they're like cut and come again and they will and 
they will branch out <coughs> as you cut, as you cut the flowers yeah but then you could also pinch them too when they get a good height yeah because then they will branch out the only problem when you do the pinching um, it will take a while for the flowers to develop so I would wait for the flowers first before I cut back and then you can cut back as much as you want you know you need to and it will branch out plus you'll have time and if you start now uh, you know the time when you really enjoy the cosmos it's like in August and early September they tend to really come into their fullness to me anyway um, but I enjoy the leaves leaf structure I want to thank you so much for letting us know about the seeds from the Dollar Tree and that they actually grow. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Plantaholic. Yes, they're good seeds and they're GMO. <laughs> they're good seeds. Yes, they are good. Uh, so don't be afraid. My local Dollar Tree stores had very limited seeds. I noticed, however, that brand of seeds is now at Oma, Um for I think 59 cents yes Chloe yes yes um they did have a, a minimal amount of seeds the the local um, yeah the Dollar Tree but um, and Dollar Tree is so seasonable you season seasonal you have to buy those seeds the Dollar Tree seeds in um, I would say late January early February catch it then uh, that's when when they put out their spring pots and things like that and people buy are, are, are do you notice that all of a sudden everybody's gardening everybody's planting something i tell you i was looking for kale seeds i couldn't find any kale seeds i can't find any burp kale seeds i went to lowe's no no one has seeds the seeds have been really been people have been uh, planting and growing everybody's starting a garden and you know why it's because of what is happening and people are realizing none none grow something that everybody's growing something and learning how to grow their own food and realizing that they need to eat natural people are becoming more vegetarian um, and so uh, what we used to take for granted uh, as a surplus is now you know you know so hey Brampton how are you yeah it's so good that you caught us I have plenty of kale seeds to share if you'd like okay yes and I you know what uh, gee mama my kale from last year is about to go to seed too they're about to go to seed so I'm gonna have a lot of kale seeds yes and so I think what I'm gonna do is allow my kale that I have uh, to go to seed and then replant them back and I'll have a winter crop of kale you know I'll have a winter crop yes well thank you so much for your generosity yes 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 uh brampton gardener is in the house rachelle rachelle is busy planting she's planting and planting some more yes 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 i tried them and they really worked i just bought some diantha seeds today i i got to get into being a vegetable garden yes you have to uh plant a, a veggie garden just a little patch you don't need a lot of plants but yes um it's time to um, plant food and the food lasts and also the produce right now because of the the weather and how things are changing and you don't know what's happening um you know with inflation and all of that produce is becoming more expensive so if you can just get a couple of plants to grow and grow your own food um, you will benefit from it and i really did save a lot um, in my grocery bills last year um, a lot of things that i didn't have to buy i didn't have to buy tomatoes um, as i told you my pumpkins lasted for a long time and as i, I was about to open that pumpkin and eat it and said oh i'm gonna um, this is the last pumpkin my porcelain pumpkin and but it had already gone to seed. 
I cringe at the thought of store-bought lettuce now. Yes! I don't know. If, that's true. That's true. I hate it. I actually bought some store-bought lettuce, dear mama. Um, my goodness. It tasted horrible. I was like, oh, I wasted my money. I could have bought a pack of seeds <laughs> of spinach or something else. And you know those microgreen seeds? I planted out my microgreen seeds. And now, now Catherine, you have excellent pumpkin seeds to plant here forward. Yes, I do. And you know, they are growing all over the place. I have patty pan seeds. I have um, butternut squash seeds. I have the porcelain doll seeds. I have um, cinnamon pumpkin. It's yeah, it's a bitter taste. Yes, it tastes, it doesn't have any taste. It tastes like, I don't know. It, it just has no flavor, the texture. There's no crunch. It's not the same. But I am, um, my microgreen seeds. If you have a pack of the microgreen seeds uh, from, Sonia did this too. Oh. You're almost done planting, Rachel. That's good. Uh, Sonia did this, right, Sonia? Last time you planted your microgreen seeds. And I planted out my microgreen seeds, and I have a spring mix. And it is delicious. It has the, the bok choy. It has the, um, the mustard greens. And um, this morning, as my, my husband had watered the garden there, and I clipped some of the little spring greens and I create, I put them all together and I ate it. It was so fresh and tasty. I planted some pole beans in with my lettuce, hope it shades it. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, those microgreens hit differently, yes. And so um, I had planted some in a little container that I have there and um, earlier on and they actually flowered. It's so pretty. And, um, and so I'm even, I love the little yellow flowers at the top because uh, it had bolted on that hot day. It just bolted. Um, but I have a, a really beautiful uh, row. Wow, that's so awesome. Your grocery bill has been cut in half. Yes, plantaholic. Um, because, you know, I have the peppers and then I store, I, I like to freeze my food. I don't, I'm not a canner, um, but I'm a freezer. I mean, <laughs> I store, I store my, um, my vegetables in the freezer. So I stored tomatoes. I didn't have to buy tomatoes during the winter. I didn't have to buy peppers. Um, my zucchini, I had so much zucchini that I actually had to throw some of it away because it was just, I knew I was not going to eat any more zucchini. But I had stocked up the zucchini. Um, what else did I have? Uh, a lot of other things. I planted some sunflower seeds this past weekend. Good, Beverly. That's good. Gardens for me. Yeah. That's good. That's good that you planted. Um, planted that I am me too Rachel I'm hoping to keep sunflowers going this season Wow cool weather farmer hi everyone how are you cool weather farmer welcome to the chat we're having fun here just sharing what we're planting and what is giving us energy and that really answers answers the question that I've been asking what options will energize you in the garden and this is definitely energizing me. The idea of planting seeds and, and putting things together. Yay. Rearranging and putting and, and creating a, a brand new garden area and getting things in the ground. Wow. Don't you feel the energy? I feel the energy. I'm excited. And I just can't hide it. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm ready to sow some seeds directly into my garden. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited, mm, 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 and I just can't hide it. I'm ready to 
to rearrange my garden and I want to do it now, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> I feel the joy rising. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mm, 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 mm. Am I telling you my my age, huh? You know that's an old song. Is that Donna Summers? I'm about to lose control and I just can't hide it. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Mm, 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 mm. I just can't hide it. I'm sitting out on the deck, starting up, staring at my garden. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's making you feel good. Energize. Want to figure out what you want to do next, right? Mm -hmm. So we say goodbye to May and hello to June. We got something to do. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh.